Right, I'm just doing my last little snack. The fear is always that this won't work. Feeling a little bit hyper. Okay. Tell me when you're ready. Should I not have rice next to me? No, it's not a live audition. It's a tape. I had a neighbor. She cooked rice in a rice cooker most of the time. Um, and it was very comforting. She came from Kimberley. Kimberley. Chinese lady. Her dad had a lollipop factory. <laughs> so I liked it. It sort of has a weirdly um, comforting smell. It's like a, it's what, like I would imagine a lily pad or a lotus pond to smell in autumn. I adore rice cookers. And I love these little animated movies from the East where they always have a rice cooker in the background and it, it just makes everything moist and humid and your skin looks better and everything sort of feels better. And there's a soft white kind of patina about it that I really enjoy. We didn't have one growing up, obviously. Yeah, I don't think we had a microwave, actually. So no, no, no rice cookers on our side. But then Anthea came into my life and I, I really liked it. <sighs> good days, actually, the rice cooking days. Rice is what it is and it's a good thing. It's a stable staple, stable staple. I think there's something really beautiful about um, being stable, it's something that I will always aspire to. Um, it's not happened to me yet. Do horses eat rice? Did you know that Gordon Ramsay has a video on YouTube titled How to Cook the Perfect Rice? And it has 5 million views. <laughs> it's really good. It's really good. Yeah. Do you know that it's safe to assume that only 5 million people can now cook rice? Does that include China? Do they have YouTube? I mean, I must admit that I've never really learned how to cook rice. 45 minutes is a long time to spend on something that you don't really understand. <laughs> Who do you have to be to say, I know how to cook rice anyway? Gordon Ramsay obviously does know how to cook rice, but he, d he bleeping knows everything, so whatever. Mm-mm, 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 mm-mm. Mm-hmm. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. mm -hmm. Okay. I sort of was wondering about the whole idea of shrimp fried rice and whether the, whether the shrimp fried the rice. No. <laughs> the, little, the little hands. Which hands does he use to hold a pan? I mean, it doesn't even make sense. None of this makes sense to me. I think that's sort of central theme to this. So, let's say, for instance, that the shrimp did fry the rice. Which hand did he use? How many prawns have how many hands? Like six? Crustaceans. Eight? Crabs have... No, no, that's... Sent no, anyway, let's say six. Is it a pan that he would use? Or would he use some sort of a... No, okay, so he's in the sea, so it'd probably be like a repurposed oyster shell or something that he puts on a tiny little sea fire, <laughs> and then he fries the rice. Is it big enough of a trend for him to actually go into commercial streams such as Chinese foods to say shrimp fried rice and do we even have enough live shrimp to fry all this rice? I just think there are flaws in this whole sort of theory. Anyway. Okay, so what do you want to know? I'm not seeing any red lights forming this. Good. <laughs> so let's assume rice is vegan. If we were to milk it, it wouldn't be. I don't exactly know what the milk, or the, no, the rice plant looks like, but I'm assuming it's not an animal. So milking it would be, unless it's sort of meant more l metaphorically, like taking 
all you possibly can from it, which is a concept that I don't dislike. It's, um, I think it's, it's clever. Rice milk is clever. Milking rice is clever. But I mean, they've been doing it for a very long time. Isn't this what we're doing right now, milking rice? Next question. I'm sweating here. I don't know about this. I'm not making fun out of this. Okay, good. Come on. Powering through. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. I mean, I don't not like rice. <laughs> Maybe it's nice to sort of see the panic that I'm experiencing no, in not getting this I right. What's the worst experience you've had with rice? Choking. How long have we been going at this? Sorry. Rice does make you a bit emotional all of a sudden. It's sort of weird. It's good to bear your emotions. And I'm not like a big, soft and sticky kind of guy, but I think it's fine that we talk about these things. Cool. Next. So, your ankles are swelling, and then you put rice packs on it. Is that, is that what you use rice packs for? Or you can, for discomfort on your shoulders, you, you heat rice in a little bag or a little last lappy situation in a microwave, and then you put it on your shoulder for swelling. But rice swells. So is it one swell taking on another kind of thing? <laughs> Which I think is very cute. That was a good point. Very good point. Hmm. Any suggestions as far as an outro is concerned? Super close up saying, please. Okay. No, not too close. Hi, Mrs. Ach Mr. Alvain Berger. It's Jan Hendrik van der Westhuizen here. I'm calling you because I received your, what was it, an audition tape or something? I'm not really sure. You totally misunderstood the job ad. We said there's a lot of standing and we wanted you to show us what you can do with rice. We didn't mean you have to do a stand-up about rice. Stop calling me on this number. Erin, can you come and help me with this? <sighs> Quickly do this again. <laughs> we could do a, a YouTube video for five million viewers. Could we? How to put a piano cover on. You could be the next Gordon Ramsay. Yeah. What's that guy? Beethoven. <laughs> <laughs> that is the funniest thing I've heard all day.